Good day, parents and guardians. The Baguio Multicultural Institute Administration, faculty and staff welcome you this new and very different school year. This school year has been prepared with anticipation as we welcome all our students. We are living in an unusual time right now due to COVID-19 virus and another variant of COVID that is endangering our health. With this, the safety of everybody is our number one concern. This virtual parent orientation helps you understand more the online education or remote instruction and the educational platforms that the school is using. I want to stress that we recognize how challenging the transition back to school might be for many of our students. Rest assured that the school management and the teaching staff are committed to providing a rigorous and relevant learning experiences for our learners that are safe and support their social, emotional, and academic growth. This is the reason why the teaching staff has been working all throughout summer for the preparation of learning materials. With this online distance learning or the ODL, your kids will be trained to be responsible lifelong learners in the comfort of their homes. In this parent orientation, the BMI team will be talking on important topics that will help you understand about the school and its daily operation. The school principal will talk on the vision, mission, school logo, school brand name, the organizational flowchart, the Co and Scholarship Foundation, and the modalities of learning. The preschool head coordinator will explain the guidelines of virtual classes. The Mandarin department head will talk on the benefits of learning Mandarin. The elementary subject coordinators will explain the curricular implementation, the use of courseware, and the accessibility of online learning. The school registrar will be talking on the guidelines of enrollment, school records, and other important matter. The cashier will be discussing on the school fees. And the last one, the infirmary will give the guidelines on health protocols, online consultation, and implementation of control policies. The details of the classroom rules for elementary and high school will be explained during the student's classroom orientation. The vision and mission statement is the expression of the school's identity, purpose, and means of action. Eight years ago, the school started with 12 kindergartens coming from different ethnic origins. Now, we have the grade 8 level. Each school year is a new grade level added to the BMI's student population. BMI seek to serve learners of different ethnic origins and culture. Our school strives to be a culturally diverse community of learners, parents, and staff dedicated to creating a friendly environment. With such an environment, the K-12 learners will be empowered and inspired to reach their full potential. Every institution has their own emblem. The logo or emblem of BMI signifies the characteristics of the school represented by the following symbols. The torch represents the light that illumines the minds of the learners and the passing of culture and civilization. The book signifies the bright future of the learners who are formed with knowledge, attitude, and skills learned and acquired in different subject areas. We can see the different colors of hands surrounding the torch. These represent the learners coming from different ethnic origin and culture 
who shall learn, work, and play in the spirit of unity, cooperation, respect, compassion, and selflessness. The encompassing green color of the verdant mountains implies that all technological school programs and the projects shall conserve, protect, rehabilitate, and promote a clean and healthy learning environment. The school's brand name conveys the values and goals we offer to learners. BMI will be known as the home of happy and better learners. We can read this in the school's FB page, the students' learning materials, and the BMI brochures and flyers. At BMI, we do not compare students, for each has unique talent and skills. Teachers create a warm classroom where kids feel confident, safe, valued, and an important part of the group. At BMI, students learn to sing, dance, play, and collaborate with others. The teacher's attitude toward students accounted for most of the variance in students' perception of safety, enjoyment, and happiness. The organizational flowchart will help you have a clear picture of the flow of authority and communication from top to bottom. This also will help you understand how the school arranged the resources of time, space, and personnel for maximum impact on student learning. The school organizational flowchart addresses those issues that affect the school as a whole such as personal functions, schedules, enrollment, and preparation of school programs. To further understand the school organizational flowchart, the grade level coordinators are the head of the grade level team and is responsible for the implementation, supervision, and evaluation of the school programs projects, and activities of the grade levels under their care. Subject coordinators are under the grade level coordinators. They are responsible in editing the syllabus, the weekly modules, and video preparations of assigned teachers under them. The BMI working team comprises of 29 teachers teaching from pre-kindergarten to grade 8 level. We have eight subject coordinators and two grade level coordinators. The non-teaching staff is the school nurse, the school registrar, the clerk, and the school cashier. Okay now parents, let's come to the Kowan Scholarship. All Filipino learners enrolled at BMI are considered as scholars under the Koan Educational Foundation, as each is a recipient of the school fee subsidy. However, this scholarship covers one year and has to be renewed by the parent in every academic year. The application will be evaluated by the scholarship committee and results will be posted on the school's bulletin board. Here are the guidelines for the approval of a scholarship. Number one, academics. The GPA should be above 80%, no failing grade during the fourth quarter in any of the subjects. Number two, attendance. During the online class, the completed weekly output of the learner serves as the learner's attendance. Number three, behavior. The learner has to abide with the school policies, guidelines, such as the on-time submission of the learner's activities and projects. Parents, on the other hand, are expected to support the vision and mission of the school. Number four, the learners must not have an outstanding financial obligation with the school. The very purpose of this parent orientation is to ensure that parents and guardians are informed about the educational setup in this COVID pandemic and the new normal situation parents and learners have to embrace. Moreover, through this orientation, the parents are expected to realize their role as active agents in the teaching-learning process 
considering that learning will take place in your homes. The learning delivery modality used by the school is the modular distance learning and the online distance learning. The teachers prepared weekly self-learning modules, Google Forms, and audio video presentations which are uploaded online through Google Classrooms and Facebook. Teachers will conduct their Zoom meetings twice a week per major subject. This is to elaborate further on the contents of the different learning materials. Group chats per grade level and section were created by class advisors for information dissemination, posting, and answering parents' and learners' queries and messages. Thank you for participating in this parent orientation and for being our partners in your children's education. I am looking forward for a great year with you and your children. Stay safe.